Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to the channel where I share travel videos, tips, and recommendations. And in 2019, I took a sunrise tour of Angkor Wat in Siem Reap, Cambodia. And since I have on my cool guy Angkor Wat t-shirt, that's what we're going to talk about today. In this video, I'll give you an overview about Angkor Wat, tell you about the significance, and answer the question of whether you should take a sunrise tour or not. If you guys are interested in the other temples in Siem Reap, like Ta Pham or Bayan Temple, then hit the subscribe button because in my next video, we'll be going over what to do in Siem Reap. Some quick information for you, Angkor Wat is a temple complex that spans over 402 acres, which makes it the largest religious monument in the world by land area. And after everyone was picked up, you go to buy your ticket, and this is the first glimpse you'll get that you won't be the only one there. We got several minutes to take pictures, and the tour guide was more than willing to help. You then cross over the moat around the temple, which is more than five kilometers or three miles long and an outer wall, which is 3.6 kilometers or 2.2 miles long. Angkor Wat was built by the Khmer King Surya Yavarman II and combines two basic plans of a Khmer temple architecture, the temple mountain and the later galleried temple. When you get to the temple, you'll notice that there are a lot of people around the moat taking pictures, but once you get inside, you'll notice that there's even more people around the reflection pool, which is a more iconic picture. So if you want to do that, then make sure to get there even earlier. We then headed over an area to take a break and we learned more about the temple. Well, I also had the luck of a bird pooping on me. We then went back to the reflection pool where our tour guide took a bunch of pictures. Unlike most Angkorian temples, Angkor Wat is oriented to the west and scholars are divided as to the significance of that. One theory is that it was intended to be used as a temple for funerals. Angkor Wat was originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu for the Khmer Empire. It was gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple towards the end of the 12th century and is now described as a Hindu Buddhist temple. As with most other ancient temples in Cambodia, Angkor Wat has faced extensive damage and deterioration by a combination of plant overgrowth, fungi, ground movements, war damage, and theft. The war damage to Angkor Wat's temples, however, has been very limited compared to the rest of Cambodia's temple ruins, and it has also received the most attentive restoration. At the center of the temple stands a Quinn Sucks of Towers, which is a fancy way of saying that there are four towers that make a square and there's one temple in the center. We then had the opportunity to climb up to the top of the temple, which provided great views over the whole complex. Overall, seeing Angkor Wat at sunrise was amazing and would highly recommend it. The reason that we took a private tour was because we were there for such a short time, we didn't want to mess it up. If I could do it again or was there for a longer time, then I would try to hire someone individually to take us there and that way we could get up to the reflection pool at sunrise because I just think that that was more of an iconic view. I also thought that we could have moved a lot quicker if we were on our own. I did appreciate the information the tour guide provided us to give us background information about the temple or to take the millions of pictures of us that he did, but I think it would've been okay being on our own. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a better idea of what to expect when taking a sunrise tour of Angkor Wat in Siem Reap, Cambodia. 
And if you guys want to see what I did when I was in Sam Reeve, I'll put the link down in the description as well as other helpful articles. And if you guys want to be around for when I post my next video, do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.